Hi. Hello. It's Paul. Tim. Doing a thing. What are we doing? We're doing a you thing. Oh, no shit. What are we doing? Uh, suicidal tendencies. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are. Um, hey, are you familiar with suicidal tendencies? Not a little bit. Not even a little bit? No. Well, they are a band that definitely bridges the hardcore scene and the punk rock scene. Okay. The California punk so scene. So I could like this. You, uh, it's going to be... It's, it's wow, be, it's gonna be one of those. It's gonna or be, just like, I don't, I don't know, man. Maybe. <laughs> uh, this is a really cool song. Okay. Talking about problems at the time. Okay. This is like late eighties. Um, suicidal tendencies get a lot of flack. Um, definitely might have been gang related as well at the time. Okay. So you know, I, I you know, I'm just saying. Uh, they're they're great though. They're a really good band. Um, okay. And Robert uh, Trulia, or how you say his name, is the guy that's the bass player in Metallica now. Okay. So, uh, but I think suicidal tendencies are often overlooked mm -hmm. in the the history of punk music, and I think they're super important. Okay. So I'm gonna make you watch them. This song is institutionalized. This is one of their more popular songs. This is one of their more early breakout songs. All right. I, it's a lot, so I just want to see what you think. Okay. I think that's enough warning. All right. You might like it. Not the way you've been <laughs> describing it. I think you're going to love it. <clears throat> we'll see. It's not that you're not going to like it. It's just very unique. It's unique, like you. A lot of people like you. Four people. I think more than four people. Maybe. Maybe. Not a surfer. This feels like popular. I mean, he definitely stole that from this. Oh, that's a lot. I told you it was a lot. Yeah. Now you understand what I meant. Yes. I can see the institutionalized thing where, like, he's trying to break out, but, like, everything is just a commercial of, of things going on in his life. Just what people think his life is. Yeah. Versus letting him just be himself and mm -hmm. give him a little space and let him figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this would have been early MTV. Okay. And this started out okay, and now I'm lost. because. <laughs> Are you? He got... I. Well, I, it builds. Yeah, I lost... But, like... I lost what he was saying about... How do you feel about the... seconds like prior. The, okay, I mean, that's fair on your first go-through. Yeah. But um, what do you think about, like, the guitar work? Oh, the guitar work's pretty cool. Like, I like... Um, everything and then when it started to ramp up I'm like oh okay and then when it got too far I'm like oh no <laughs> you need to pull that back a little bit so it's almost what you want it's almost like it's I can see it like I don't think it's I don't think this comes close to going on like a playlist but like I can appreciate where it's coming from sure and what it's trying to do right um, but yeah there's a lot of like punk that will just send just me never never yeah. be there for you that's fine and I think this is gonna be one of those things but at <laughs> least I understand it. Well, that's good. It's about damn time. That's not true. There's plenty of stuff that you played that I've been fine with. No, that you understand. I was in my room. I was just like staring at the wall, thinking about everything. Then, yeah, I was thinking about nothing. 
This is like him. Not a surfer and George's satellite kind of saw him. Line Limp Biscuit lifted years later. I mean, this aggression just has not changed over all these years. Oh, really? This is still like, well, I just mean the, the message. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I get where all of this is coming from. Mm -hmm. Because if you're taking late eighties, like late eighties, early nineties, like there was a lot of this going on where you had a lot of people and this is specifically a Gen X thing. Like growing up as a Gen X person, like we didn't have a direction. It was basically like when we were kids it was just stay quiet, stay out of we were feral kids. We go outside and play. Go outside and why play. Why are you inside? Yes. Why are you inside? I'm thirsty. Well, there's a perfectly good hose outside. Drink out <laughs> of that hose. Yes. And you better be back before the streetlights come on kind of thing. And then so you, you have that kind of aimlessness going through. And then at some point you're expected to be an adult. And that's what they're kind of like. Yeah. Like you didn't give me anything. And it was just like, well, we're just going to. But gonna... also imagine all the things you just said. But Southern California. This is right before all the riot stuff happened a little later. Yeah, so this you are sitting on top of a powder territory. You are sitting on top of a powder 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 keg that has not exploded yet. Right, but we're getting there. Four year three years from then. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. If this was eighty nine, then three years from then. Is that what I so, said, eighty nine? Yeah, you said eighty nine. So something like, like that. If that was eighty nine, so you're three years from there. So, the world is on fire. So they weren't wrong when they said no. it's hard and things are awful out here. Yes. And you know. Um, yeah, there's so it's like such an important song. But mm -hmm. I understand musically, it's not everyone's. Yeah, guarantee. it's not going to be a thing. But you know, they talk about you know, religion is a type of institution. They talk mm -hmm. about you know, the army suburbia is kind of an suburbia. institution. Like yeah, there's a lot the police, of there. Like there's a, a lot of bending your will to other people's will. It's a smart song. It's a very smart. It's a song very smart song for some punk kids out of California. Yes, you know. Just speak in their mind, mm -hmm. which is the, that's the important part. Yes. You know? Um, it was pretty good. Like, it, it's not going to be my, my thing. It's got like, that 80s cheese to it, which is fun. A little bit to it. Little, like, fight for your rights, twisted sister yeah, kind of feel to it. Yeah, but I, I feel like that's what most videos were at this point, because mm -hmm. this is, this has to be earlier MTV. Mm -hmm. Um, so you just see what everybody else is doing, you're like, do that shit. <laughs> it's like, we'll do it too. All right. 
Because like if they were just like I don't know in a padded room playing, it wouldn't have the same impact. No, it wouldn't. You know. So yeah, I don't know where to go from here. You guys <laughs> would have to let us know. I um, don't know a ton of suicidal tendencies. It's just one of those bands where you hear them, you're like, oh, suicidal tendencies, mm -hmm. and you enjoy it and you move on. <laughs> so yeah, if there's somewhere specific with them you want us to do, let me know. If uh, anything else. Uh, Adjacent to that, maybe some more aggressive, thought-provoking, <laughs> hardcore and punk. Maybe. I'm all about it. Uh, punk is always harder to get on this channel. Yeah, it's just because we... It's just harder to find videos. Good quality, mm -hmm. and they're also very short. This is, you know, a longie at four minutes. Yeah. So... <laughs> I was almost kind of impressed, especially when it sped up. I'm like, wow, this is four minutes. Yeah. Uh, it, it sped up to be like, oh, this is 210 <laughs> kind right. of thing. Right, right, and right. And it wasn't. And I was like, okay. It's actually kind of pleasant to pleasantly surprised about that yeah so yeah like subscribe all the kind of fun stuff catch him out on caves and scales catch me out on campfire ashes or podcasts yeah you can find him on spotify amazon apple music wherever you find your podcasts and he's got another one i do math of the match talk about wrestling mm -hmm. and the institution of wrestling that's right mm -hmm. where you might end up in a cage yes but for a very different but probably reason. because you're very angry and you need to settle the <laughs> score it all ends at hell in a cell you or, know what i'm saying or you're 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 uh you're putting there to keep from being from interfering on things. Mm, yes. Yeah. Just can't, Dom, Dominic's in a shark cage. Just can't behave himself. Yep. Uh, links to the original video as well as the merch links on our Patreon will be in the description down below. I always thought the shark cage was dumb. It is, but it's comical at the same time. True. Sure. We'll catch you next time. Bye.